you see, it's about those nine digits they say. So what happened to intellectual growth, I say. But all I want is to get an education so that one day we can all grow in this nation. But the lack of documentation impedes this crecimiento. What do we dream kids do with these obstructed dreams? When something as basic as an ID is being denied to me. You see, college was never an option for me, but now it's here and I'm holding a degree. Where do we go with a college degree when a no is also here? here? You can ask me about my legal status. Why can't you ask me if I need help in school? The country is letting a lot of talent go to waste. You can't stop knowledge from being spread. If the Dream Act were passed, not only will we be allowed to continue our dreams, but will contribute to the positive development of our communities. I realize that I've lived a life of privilege. I've been privileged to be a U.S. citizen. I've been privileged to pursue an education, and now I'm privileged to stand alongside those fighting for their opportunity to educate themselves. Please pass the truth. I went to elementary school, I went to middle school, and I'm now in high school. I study just like a legal student. I have good grades just like a legal student. I have perfect attendance just like a legal student. I don't understand the difference between the legal student and me. So why can't I get scholarships and go to college I always dream of going to? I see no difference. Why can't I be like them? Pass the dream. I am privileged of having been born here in America. Next semester I was still attending college. Every time I mention to my teachers that I will, they always get excited and tell me great comments. I also get excited, but at the same time it makes me angry because this society has low expectations of Latinos. Let us who are privileged stand and fight for those who are not. I learned that I was undocumented when I was in fourth grade. That same day, I learned that I wasn't going to have the same opportunities as some of my friends. I learned that I wasn't going to be able to go to any college that I wanted to go. I learned that I wasn't going to be able to get a job to pay off college, and that it was going to be harder for me to get the education that we all deserve, no matter what race we are. I left my family when I was 16 years old. I left my country in pursuit of the American dream. I thought I was coming to the land of the free, but instead I became enslaved. I found discrimination, rejection. A family with a dream, like any other family on this planet. A dream to reach for the stars, to show the world that anything is possible, to keep believing and trying, keep dreaming. Let's become a bigger family by passing the dream. Don't just dream, act. Every morning when I wake up and leave my house, I'm afraid that I'm not going to be able to come back because I might get deported and not come back home and see my family again. Education is something really important to all of us in this world. It doesn't really matter where you're from and what color you are. The most difficult thing about not having papers is not being able to see my family. As a first generation American citizen, I find it difficult to see all the resources that have given to me that my parents are not able to have. My dream is to be the first one in my family to get a college degree because that's why my parents brought me here, to get a better education and have the opportunities that they didn't have. I find I find kind of messed up that many of my Hispanic peers give up and say that I don't want to do something with their lives because they don't have a paper. Para mí los sueños es algo que no tiene barreras, que no distingue de raza, religión o sexo. Sueños que deberían volverse realidad. El mañana para mí es incierto. En nombre de cientos de estudiantes indocumentados, 
Let's become a bigger family by passing the DREAM Act. Because of a birth certificate and a nine digit number, open doors were given to me from every direction. Because I was born in American soil, I stop and I think, what about those amazing people that deserve all those open doors? What makes them any different? I think that families should be together because they can support each other. Me, I am burdened. I am burdened by the struggle of thousands of students to attain what was handed to me. I am burdened that thousands of families risk everything in their lives to provide a better opportunity for their children, only to find out that they are denied the basic right to learn. They dedicate themselves to working hard in their academic studies. They provide for their community in extraordinary ways, and they work hard. Why do we deny them the opportunity to excel? I know you guys think, uh, why should she worry about this whole immigration stuff if she's just a kid? And yes, I am just a kid, but it does affect me, and many other kids around my community are affected. Because kids' parents parents, aunts, uncles are, are being arrested or sent back to their country, we are left behind all by ourselves without any, any support or any help from anyone. I was born in the United States, but I'm not an American. As a university professor and public intellectual, how do I respond to the very real challenges that my students face? What choice do I have when our government is trying to educate and deport my students at the same time? Communities are being raided with guns and vans. Bodies are being stolen. Families are being fractured. It is my responsibility to stand on the front line in between immigration and custom enforcement's guns and the families I serve. I choose to stand in solidarity with the students that I claim to love SS to our X on the convicted space, we become the shadows of the letters that haunt our lives. If I only had that number, if I only had that number, if I only had the numbers to stand up and be counted to let everyone know that what my people reaped is not what my people sow. The giving out education is just creating a better nation. Let us be counted as who we are. Let us be counted as what we bring. Let us be counted as our character and not our immigration status. Let us be counted as students because it is a right. Let us be counted as one. Let our voice be heard so that we can break free from the jails of our dreams and we can act. Don't just let us dream, let us act.